Welcome to Character Select. My name is Dave, and with me today is... Tyler. And we're playing a game, which we will get to in a second. Memory of the Ukrainian Heavenly Homeland. What the hell was that? This is the game that we're playing. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes, Crimes and Punishments. Oh yeah. Starring Sherlock Holmes. Dr. John Watson. Inspector G. Lestrade. This is Hudson. Mycroft Holmes. Wiggins and the PSI. <laughs> what? So I've uh, never the Baker played this Street, game. The Baker Street Irregulars. Ah. They're the little uh, street urchin kids that help Sherlock Holmes in his stories. Gotcha. So I've never played this game. Tyler very much has. Yep, I've beaten the first four cases in this. So, so you will be playing as Sherlock, and I will be I your Watson. I am playing as the Sherlock. He has promised, Tyler has promised not to give me any solutions unless I desperately need them. Which uh, I probably will. But that's besides the point. So, uh, the book, the only book these people ever seem to be reading is uh, Crime and Punishment by Dostoevsky. Also, uh, quick time events. What? What? <laughs> uh. No. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Stop that. He does tend to do this a lot, doesn't he? <laughs> he just randomly shooting. How He's just shooting he... randomly. Well, I mean, how does he have that many bullets in that revolver? I don't think that's the biggest issue. <laughs> but I mean, it's like in the, the Robert Downey Jr. Sherlock Holmes Stop movie, home. he was doing this same shit. Is that you, Watson? Yes, no, it's it some fucking you asshole. Almost killed me. Nonsense. I was aiming for the vases. Blindfolded. Watson, quiet, please. I'm trying to concentrate. Confident step. Clinking handcuffs. Policeman. So they've stolen. Uh, they've basically stolen this I'm from the uh, the new Sherlock Holmes series yeah. with uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. What is it this time? So you can see me. Well, here it is, and it's a good one, Mr. Holmes. Why did he know that it was Inspector Lestrade, and yet when he was shooting, he didn't realize it was Watson? <laughs> a sailor, most probably. I don't know. He probably knew it was Watson. Oh, Mr. Holmes, how could you? It's the only exercise I've had all week. A grateful client from Limoges sent me a vase collection this morning. I couldn't think of a better use for it. Put some flowers in it. <laughs> I missed four out of ten. Given you were blindfolded, that was very good. Can I have a try? No. Am I the only sane one here? Yes. I suppose that Watson is right, Inspector. A little brain work would be preferable now. Do please tell us more about black. Also, shooting a gun isn't really physical it's exercise. The, oh, it's more of a mental way. exercise, him trying to figure out where the vases were. Yeah, I guess. Seal and whale hunting around Scandinavia. Retired That's Hedraland. Scandinavia, he yeah, I suppose. In a property called Woodman's Lee, near Forest Row in Sussex. It was where he lived for six years, and where he was found dead yesterday. Has the investigation already It begun? was an accident! Yes, no. He choked fact, on his fish dinner! <laughs> Thanks for ruining that one! <laughs> Give me half an hour to prepare, Inspector. I don't Take know that I necessarily like Holmes' voice, I but... To go through the yard first. The Would you rather him sound like Lestrade there? What have they done mm. this time? They robbed a powder reserve. Oh, well, that's bad news. Yeah, the Merry Men, um, they be terrorists, yo. Good times. Mm. Noodle salad. Then. Oh my god, I'm not gonna have a Watson? Not in this case. Uh, right. Also, you get, ah, uh, Jesus. so, just, um, pointing it out, you get an achievement for talking to the dog in every case. Oh, well, I guess we're gonna do that then. There is a dog in here somewhere he might shop ah, later this camera yeah, it's ah, a little this wonky. camera uh so you can go in and get dressed well it says that i have to select a suit to wear using your oh, okay. <laughs> uh 
so this game's kind of interesting. Like, the way you investigate. So, like, you'll always be coming back to your apartment to, like... Mm-hmm. I don't know, there's, like, chemistry equipment. Uh, you can... Like, that huge stack of um, newspapers or whatever. You'll search through for, like, events in the news or something like that. Uh, it's kind of huh. cool. So, uh, yeah, you can uh, have your... your Customize your own version of Sherlock to your heart's content. That's, like, the Basil Rathbane... Rathbone yeah. hair or whatever. Uh, I'd like to point out that, as is true for most Focus Interactive spon- or published games, the hair options in this are god-awful. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Look at that afro. He's like, I don't know. Are you seriously go- Oh, I was gonna say, are you seriously going with the afro? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to. Yes, the Watson! No. <laughs> Sailor outfit, unbuttoned suit, casual suit. No, we're going with the unbuttoned suit. That's locked. What? See a little lock symbol next to it. How the? Well, you the, get them in. Um, you get them in cases. So like you'll be wearing some suit, or you'll show up in a disguise, and then that will unlock the suit for you. Well, that's just silly. All right. Really? Oh, right, your, uh, your hair. <laughs> In order to learn how to style your hair, please learn so how yeah, to style uh, your So, yeah, if you hair. notice the book on the, the counter there? Yeah, it's Crime and Punishment. <laughs> Good old Dostoevsky. I think that's even him in that picture there on the mantle. So, can you do me a favor? <laughs> can everywhere. you look up when? Can you look up when Crime and Punishment was published? Oh, yeah. Uh, God, it was, what, like the 1700s, 1600s? Crime and punishment. Uh, 1866. Okay, so it does make sense for it to have been I guess it was, like, newly published when they're reading this or something. Yeah. There's no dog here, by the way. Uh, he'll, I think he'll be there when you come back to your apartment later. Gotcha. All right. Oh my god, this freaking camera. Can you like turn down the the s- sensitivity or whatever? Or? It's not the sensitivity, it's the I don't know how else to put it. It's the field of view. Ah, okay. It's driving me nuts. All right. Um so the other thing about this game these loading screens are atrocious. <laughs> Holy crap. In that they take forever constantly? They do. We will spend a lot of time going back and forth, and you will spend a lot of time looking at that same loading screen over and over again. Great. I can't wait. Mr. Holmes, I'm over here. Mr. Holmes! Well, I suppose hey. after Quest for... I suppose after Quest for Glory 1, I mean... <laughs> I made you play through that. Well, no, I mean, don't get me wrong. This is an awesome game. I enjoyed it thoroughly when I was playing it. But... I feel like the games that you enjoy the most are the ones that you're most critical of. That like you I, that can I am the out... most critical of? No, in, in people in general. Oh. What am yeah. I? I can, I can focus, but there's nothing to... How do I know when there's something worth focusing on? You, you'll, you'll see. They'll tell you when to use that. It's like right after... You... When will you remove my this is like the tutorial case. Gotcha. So. Okay. Shut up, lady. As we can, Mrs. Carey, I assure you. Allow me to introduce you to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes, he's a detective. I'll wait for you in front of the cabin, Mr. Holmes. Nice sure. bowler. I like that shadow that was on your forehead that was, like, really weird. <laughs> and, uh, you can, like, inspect her by pressing X, and it basically does the whole... Oh. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. So you, like, pan around her, and you, like, find, like stuff about her cameo catholic rosary gardening gloves Uh, bird house so I'm missing one thing Uh, what am I missing 
Well, when you switch, like, there will always be something there for you to look at. Okay. Oh, it is this one. Yeah. Crested tit. Nice. Madam, can you tell me if you saw or heard anything unusual upon the night of the murder? I mean, the animations in this game aren't that bad either. Yeah, actually, I mean, the hair sucks, but the facial models are pretty impressive. He was drunk. Can you please hmm. tell me what occurred? You just click that one. Are you listening to it again? Well, hmm. Peter got drunk in the evening. He was in such a. This isn't the same thing. No. Oh, well, whatever. Whenever that happened, he'd stay all night drinking in his cabin <clears throat> before passing out. He sounds like a lovely man. Oh, that's right. They get rid of the the. Do you remember at what time you found questions. your husband's body? Hmm. In the morning, at around seven o'clock, I noticed the cabin door was open. But I didn't go in to take a look, for I knew my husband would not have liked it. At around ten o'clock, I dared to glance in through the door and... Oh, dear. Yep, he did. He's definitely dead. What's B, back? Like, yeah, I'm done you with can you? leave the conversation. To gotcha. And then you okay. can come back later. I don't I'm sure there's, like, an actual tutorial for the game that tells me these things, but I don't need it, I got you. Yeah. After his retirement... Well, I mean, the the back arrow is sort of yeah. evident as to what the B button does, and usually, yeah. A great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. Yes, life with Peter was never easy, but he was still my husband. She did it. He was no. different, wasn't he, when you first met him upon your return from Plymouth? Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh my goodness! But how do you know about that? Uh, uh, what am I doing here? You have to pick one of those two that talks about why she came back from Plymouth. Oh, because she did a pilgrimage. Hmm. You undertook a pilgrimage to the Cathedral of Santiago. That's kind of cool, actually. I like that. Yeah. That much is evident. From the rosary in your hand. And it's like you can you get pilgrim, I mean England you get an achievement for getting all of those correct. I believe that huh. you met Peter Carey <coughs> so, I mean, as a young They're not always as straightforward as that, so Right. That is indeed what happened, Mr. Holmes. How but it's just kind of a cool thing, because they've never done that with these Sherlock Holmes you, games Adam. where they actually sort of make you figure shit Think about. Out. They make you be Holmes. Right, because like in um like in any Sherlock Holmes book, you're never in you're Sherlock never Holmes' yeah. head. And that's you're never sort of, privy to what his thought process right. is. And that's what this game does. There's like um you'll see it later, but there's this entire portion of this game that's all about what is what his thought process is, like in his head. Huh. It's like you right. you see they like took it from the Sherlock show where he's like you know thinking about you know what's happening and like deducing from that so right um, but yeah so how about this dead body in here? Hello, hello, hello. What is it, Lestrade? Hello, hello, hello. Someone has tried to force it, Mister Holmes. Oh, really? Ba ba da ba da. Uh, you can use your RB thing now. Ah. Door lock scratches. These scratches are fresh. Because they haven't been weathered. Yep. Even I know how to spot that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're right. Someone tried to force open the door. By picking it, which isn't quite the same. Yesterday. Now a mysterious visitor came here last night. Well, he's not the man for the job. This lock is not a difficult one. Perhaps Maybe two tumblers. The right tool. Yeah, there, uh, there is the lock picking um, mini game in this. There are a lot hmm. of little mini games in this. I'm not um, necessarily so a big fan of mini body? games. What? 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 What a terrible way to die! Jesus. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> God damn. 
Okay. That'll buff right out. Yeah, dude. Put a slap a bandage on there and <laughs> you'll be fine. <laughs> Quite frankly, I'm surprised he's not talking to us now. Put a bandage on, take two aspirin, call me in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right, so next time on Character Select, I'm going to examine dead Peter Carey. Hooray! <laughs> So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. And Tyler, the fuck? <laughs> you spilled his ketchup. Oh. God, there's not enough ketchup in the world. Raspberry jam? Mm. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs>